I'm officially done with all my Halloween videos for this year. I hope you guys watched them and liked them. If you're new to my channel or if you haven't watched all my Halloween series, then go watch it right now. I'll link that all down below and on the screen right here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was really fun to make all those and I hope you had a great Halloween. And so now I'm doing a video um, on frequently asked fist the mm -hmm. Frequently asked fitness questions. There we go. So these are just questions that I've been asked a lot and so I'm gonna be here to answer them for you. Hope you guys enjoy, stay tuned, and let's go. Oh, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe please if you haven't. Now let's go, woo! Numero uno. Should I eat before I work out in the morning? Well, I know a lot of people don't eat before they work out. Um, I can't do that personally. I will pass out. I just, I have to eat something. So if you're working out, you, okay, okay, here's the thing. If you're just, say, going on a run in the morning or something and it's half an hour, 45 minutes after you wake up, then eat a banana that gives you some sugar and some energy and it's healthy for you. Say you wake up and then you do a workout an hour and a half later. Then eat something a little bit bigger, more fulfilling. Eat some protein with it and a lot of carbs because carbs help you throughout your workout because it gives you energy. And so in my opinion, yes, you should eat before you work out any time of the day, especially in the morning. You poop. I mean, number two. <laughs> See what I did there? What is the best way to lose weight in a fast and healthy way? Um, well, there's a lot more to this than just basically what I'm going to say. It's a lot harder to do than it sounds. But what you need to do is just try and eat healthy foods that aren't processed. That really makes a difference. Even try and eat as fresh and... I don't know what word I was going to say, but I was going to say something and it sounded smart in my head. But then I forgot it, so just just imagine that I said a really cool word there. Just just imagine. Okay, and you need to drink a lot of water. That really helps. Don't be drinking anything else besides water, tea, um, smoothies, as in not smoothies that you just buy from the store or something. Those can actually be bad for you. Um, but smoothies that you make fresh with either fruits or protein and things like that. Not drinking soda, that really just... No matter what you're doing, that really just defeats almost every purpose of like working out or eating healthy or something like that. Because there's a lot to do with eating... I mean, not eating. Oh my god, I can't talk. With being healthy in a fast way, there's a lot to do. Working out definitely helps a lot. Try and do some sort of exercise at least four or five times a week. It just, it really helps and boosts your metabolism. Um, weight training helps a lot. Uh, la, 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 la. Cardio as well, obviously. Uh, not eating too little or too much. Eating too little can cause your body to actually go in starvation mode and store fat. Eating too much, obviously that's not going to make you lose weight because you're putting in too much food, so you're going to gain weight. Number three, why am I not losing weight after working out many days a week? There could be a lot of factors involved with this, why you're not losing weight. One could be you're on a plateau, meaning that say you were losing weight before and you keep doing the exact same thing you've been doing, eating the same way, working out the same way, so your body just gets used to it and kind of stops. It's just like remains the same. So you need to end up changing up some of your workouts, maybe eat something different a couple days a week, something like that, just to keep your body going. Um, another thing is maybe you're gaining muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat. Like say you lose this much fat and then you gain that much muscle. It's the same weight, so you're gonna weigh the same, but obviously that is so much bigger than that, so it's gonna look different. Do you feel me? Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, and then also, maybe you're not eating right. Even if you're working out like crazy, you're doing intense workouts, if your metabolism isn't that great or you're eating too much or not the right foods, you might not be losing weight. So check what you're eating and yeah. Number four. This is a question that a lot of girls ask is, will lifting weights make me bulky? No, it won't unless you lift 
the heaviest weight you can every time, like doing your max, which most people don't do anyway. Um, if you really want to get bulky, yes, you can make that happen, but a lot of girls don't want that, and I understand. I don't want to be super bulky either, and so all you have to do is lift light weight or medium weight and do, do a weight where you can do three sets of about 10 to 12 reps. That will get you toned and still muscular where you're, you have like strength, but, and you know, a little bit of definition, but not where you almost look like a guy where you're like really, really bulky and like have like arms out to here and stuff. So I get that you don't want that and no lifting weights will not make you bulky if you do light or medium weight. Um, also, lifting weights really helps. Like if you're deciding, oh, should I do it? Should I not? Should I just stick with cardio? No, you should actually do both. It will really help you, especially in the long run, because if you're just doing cardio, you'll burn calories during that workout. But then afterward, like for a couple minutes, you'll still be burning calories, but then it will just kind of like stay the same, whatever. Lifting weights, you'll burn it during that workout. And then for hours after, you'll still be burning more calories than normal. And so it actually burns more from lifting weights. Um, and it helps you in the long run too, because even days and days after, your body's still like recovering from that. Because it's like your body is not really used to that type of workout. Just like, just being human, our bodies aren't as used to lifting weights as it is with just like walking and running and things like that. And so your body will still be burning and your metabolism will go up just from lifting weights like a couple times a week or something. So it really does help. I think you should do it and no, it will not get you bulky, like I said. Number five, when should I stretch during a workout? Well, you should stretch before, in the middle, and after. Um, be like, when you do it before though, make sure to warm up a little bit, get your muscles kind of warm and loosened before you stretch because you don't want to stretch cold muscles. They can um, rip and pull very easily and cause a lot of injuries. Um, so warm up a little, like jog around, do some jumping jacks, something like that. Then stretch and then do your workout. If you're feeling like a little bit tight or something while the workout, then you can stretch then also. And then make sure to after because it will prevent injuries and um, prevent your muscles from pulling again, like I said, because make sure to stretch before, in the middle, and after. Number six. I almost put this finger up. That's seven. This is six. Yeah, no numbers! Um, how do I lose fat? Okay, this is kind of a broad subject, but I'm just going to try and answer this quickly because I know I'm. this is already a very long video, I'm assuming. Um, okay, losing fat. Oh god, I'm under pressure now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, cardio. Cardio will help. Lose fat. Say you're lifting a bunch of weights, you have a lot of muscle, and you're strong, but you have like a layer of fat on your stomach or something, cardio will burn that off. So do your cardio, but don't forget to lift weights as well. Um, <clears throat> weight train for faster results. So, like I just said, don't forget to lift some weights because that will make losing fat faster because it burns calories after a workout, lose fat. Yeah. Um, also, do high intensity interval training. That's kind of um, a mix between resistance and cardio training. It could be. Or it could be, it's basically, interval training is basically you do like an intense um, exercise for say a minute or something. And then you do a just low intensity exercise for another minute, and then you keep switching off between those two. I've done a couple high intensity interval training workout um, uh, videos. I don't know what I was gonna say. I, okay, okay, I'm messing up with words here. Oh my gosh. Um, so you can watch that. I'll probably link that down below too. So yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next. Number seven. Oh my god, I almost fell. Woo. You almost witnessed my death right there. Okay, how many calories should I eat per day? Well, well, I, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a whole video on this. I'm gonna, like, yeah, because it's a whole video worth of a question. But basically, it, oh my god, it depends on so many factors. It depends on how old you are, how tall you are, how much you work out, what, how much you weigh, how much muscle you have. It, 
like, uh, 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 oh my god. I can't talk either. I really, I can never talk in videos. So, it depends on just so many things. I can't tell you an exact number how many calories you should eat. There's a lot of, um, if you type in calorie intake calculator on Google, um, there's some things that come up that tell you, you can put in some of those little factor things, like how much you weigh and how old you are and stuff like that. And it tells you approximately how much you should be eating. And those actually help because it, um, it does tell you about how much, but still, you need to kind of just play around with it. Like, I don't know, you, the one thing I can say is no matter who you are, no matter how much you work out, anything, do not eat less than two, 200, 1200 calories. Definitely not 200. No, don't eat, don't eat, no. But don't eat less than 1200 calories. That is the minimum that anyone should be eating. And that's a very low minimum. Like, most people should eat way more than that, but like don't eat less than that, that, oh that's bad, don't do it, don't do it, I'm watching you, don't do it. So, um, it depends on, even if you're just a guy or a girl, guys like n normally eat more than girls and normally have to because they have a higher metabolism, you guys suck because if I eat like one thing that's bad like a hamburger then I gain so much weight the next day and guys can eat like a whole large pizza and then be like 20 pounds lighter the next day. How does that work? I don't know. But <clears throat> so so it depends on a lot of things. I'm gonna make a whole video on that. That is the last question for this video. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments or requests comment them down below. Give this video a thumbs up like I said before this video and subscribe do it yes please thank you and yeah i hope these helped i know that a couple questions i couldn't answer directly because they were kind of just a broad subject like the how many calories i should eat per day but don't worry i will answer that completely in another video that i'll do but yes like i said i hope this helped you and i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next sunday so bye this is my heart.